In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make space filling models of the simple cubic, body centered cubic, and face centered cubic lattice in Blender. Let's start with our default cube, and we're actually going to keep our default cube this time. We're going to come to the modifier properties and add three array modifiers. The first one will have a relative offset of one in the x direction, and we're going to make sure that merge is selected. We'll add a second array modifier, this time with a relative offset of one in the y direction and zero in the x direction, making sure that merge is still turned on. Finally, we'll have one more, this one in the z direction, again with zero in the x direction, and again with merge turned on. Now we're going to add in an element that we can put at all the corners. If we hit z and enter into the wireframe mode, you can actually see what we've gotten and done here. We've created a simple lattice, which we can adjust the size of using the array. So shift A, and let's add in a UV sphere. I'm going to right click and shade smooth, and then with G, I'll just move it out of the way. The way that we're going to get all the spheres to look the way we want and to be on the corners is with particle systems. So we're going to come down to particle properties and we'll add in a hair particle system. For source, instead of faces, I'm going to choose verts and then I'll use the modifier stack, turning off random order. For render, instead of path, we'll use object and the object that we'll use is that sphere that we just created. And just like that, if I come back into solid view, you can now see I have the spheres at each of those points. And in the wireframe, you can see they're all internal. If I want to be able to use a space filling model, I'm going to uncheck show emitter in the render, and then also I'll uncheck show emitter in viewport display. From here, I'll just drag that scale up until these spheres are just touching. And just like that, well, just touching a little bit more. Just like that, you can see we've created a simple cubic lattice that we have control over the size of. That all links to one simple cube. So from here, I'm going to grab our simple cubic lattice and just move it out of the way. We'll add in another default cube, and we're going to use this to make the body centered cubic lattice. We'll start by cleaning up our scene and just calling this simple cubic lattice. And we'll call this one body centered cubic lattice. BCC for short would have made more sense. We'll enter the wireframe, and then we're going to grab two opposite corners. It doesn't matter which, it could be these two, it could also be these two. And what we're going to do then is hit F to join them, right click, and subdivide. And that has given us all the vertices that we need to create the body centered cubic lattice. We could do that with the same approach with all the arrays, but in this case, we've already made the simple cubic lattice. So I'm going to select our body centered cubic cube, and then I'll select the simple cubic one. I'll hit Control L and I will make a link with the modifiers. Then we'll come back in a solid view, and you can see all we have to do here is clean this up by coming to the particle system and making this its own particle system. So just make a single user copy, click this too. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come down, uncheck show emitter, again, it will reset this uh, selection, and you can see we now have our body centered cubic lattice. I'm actually going to change the scale just a little bit here so it's a little more obvious, but now we have spheres in the center of each of those cubes, those little sub cubes. And just like that, we would have ourselves the body centered cubic lattice. Now the face centered cubic lattice, the densest one is the most challenging, but it's still relatively easy. So we'll move the body centered cubic lattice out of the way and we'll add in the face centered cubic lattice cube. And for brevity, we'll call this one the FCC lattice. Now, one thing that I should note about these particle systems is I have the default number of a thousand particles on. And that means if I wanted to use the array modifier to add more, I would be able to do that up to a reasonable number until I hit a thousand vertices. Once I hit a thousand, I'd have to add to the particle system so that it wasn't rendering as many, or sorry, it was rendering enough to actually put spheres on all the corners. But for something like this, where I can see very clearly how many spheres I have, I could drop this to the appropriate number. And that's about right. Yes, if you see that if I were to drop it to 18, now we're missing. But with 27, that would be just fine. If you're interested in doing the math for the exact number, that is absolutely fine. But you don't need to. It will just be a little bit more expensive computationally to render extra spheres. Finally, coming back to the FCC lattice. This one, we're going to grab our default sphere, tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, 
And now we're going to come up to select and we're going to choose checker deselect. And this has miraculously selected exactly the faces that we didn't want. This is very easy to fix by just hitting control I and that will invert our selection. Now we're going to come down to the object data properties tab and we'll add in a vertex group. We'll call this FCC points and I'll hit assign. As with before, because we already did the work of setting up the modifiers, I'm going to click our FCC cube, shift and click our simple cubic lattice. I could also use the body center cubic lattice and with control L, I will make links with the modifiers. Now you can see the FCC cubic lattice has far more spheres and so the lower number of 27 will not cut it. I will make this its own particle system and I'll bring this number up to 100. That is overshooting, but that's not really a problem. So again, we will uncheck show emitter for both the render and the show emitter in the viewport display. And for the FCC lattice specifically, we'll come down to vertex groups and for density, we will choose the FCC points that we made before. Once again, we'll bring that scale down just so that it's at a bit more of a manageable level. And you can see just like that, we now have the FCC lattice, we have the BCC lattice, and we have the simple cubic lattice. As always, thanks for coming out. If you found this at all useful, consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and colleagues. And until next time, have yourself a great old day.